Hey everybody, Eagle Run 23 here. Back on the channel today is one of my absolutely favorite guns. This is a 6.5 Grindle with the Faxon, what is that, Midnight Bronze. Got some shimmer in there, good looking paint color. This gun also has a Faxon handguard. And the real treasure here is our barrel. The barrel here is a 16 inch Grindle with a custom twist rate done up just for us. And this is by Heller Arms. I'll have a link for the barrel in the build for this video and I'll make sure that's posted below. Now on top for an optic, we have my old PST Vortex. This was taken off of my long range setup and it didn't really have anything to do and I needed a scope for this gun. So we threw this on here. It's not ideal. I don't love this optic. I would prefer to have a tract on here, um, which I guess we'll have to work on that at some point in the future. For a trigger, I have a two-stage, not a drop-in, a two-stage trigger from AT3 Tactical, and uh, it's pretty nice. You can see the first stage is right there. I should get a pull gauge out on it. It's pretty firm, but it does have a nice break. And then here is reset, back to fire. Not as precision as some of our drop-in triggers, but a very nice trigger for the price. So the reason that we have this gun out is we are going to do some Grendel shooting tomorrow. I am meeting up with an ammo manufacturer who has a brand new load for 6.5 Grendel, and it's a precision load that they want to be able to hunt with. And so we're gonna see how far we can take this 16 inch barrel out uh, I think I can go to three or 400 yards on my property. We'll have to see if it's too muddy to move the tables back, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. So the main topic of this video is installing our long shot precision grips. I showed these to you about a month ago, and I was really expecting the Grendel ammo to be available a little bit sooner. So we're gonna put these grips on and see what a precision grip does on a gun like this. So the company sent me three of these, and if you didn't see my other video, let me briefly tell you what these are. They have a spacer so that your finger is in the correct geometry to pull that trigger. Uh, it keeps you from jamming your finger through there. It keeps it right on the pad of your finger. It also forces your thumb around on the same side. Now this one has a major kick out and a big spacer. Uh, it makes it to where you can't shoot if you have your thumb wrapped around the wrong way. So this one, I'm going to save for my precision bolt action build that is in the works. Now, these two are relatively the same profile and the same spacer. The only difference between these two is the angle. We have a virtually straight up and down vertical here, and then we have a slight little angle here. I think I'll save this one. Maybe put it on the 6.5 Creedmoor, and the one with a little bit of angle I think would be perfect on a gun like this. See, this gun is running a DIY stipple job by your boy Eagle Run 2.3. First time ever stippling. I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, I think this gun deserves something a little bit nicer. But this is really the right grip for this gun. All right, let's take a closer peek at this grip. I think that looks great. There it is on the other side. Okay, let's see what it feels like. Oh yeah, that's, that's what you're looking for right there. Spacer gives you a shelf right there for your thumb and it spaces your finger off so that you're engaging with the perfect, with the perfect part of your finger there. And let's, Two-stage trigger. Boy, I, man. Well, obviously I haven't shot it yet. We've only been dry firing here. But the way that that, I feel like that almost gives me confidence to have my finger in the right spot. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I think this could be something really special. Okay, so... Uh, installation went no problem at all. It actually came with the wrench that you need. 
Uh, I replaced to a little bit of a shorter screw. Uh, I just used the one that came with it. Now we can change these out. This is the medium or the large one, uh, which should be fine for me. I'm a two or a three XL hand. So that seems to be quite good right there. With an ambidextrous safety, I am a little bit running into my safety, but um, not anything that's troublesome at all. And with this grip, I can still wrap around if I need to, but getting everything in a line right there so you can have those really consistent trigger pulls, that is what this is all about. So Eagle Run 2.3 is your promo code over at Long Shot Precision. It will, of course, be linked below. Uh, Dave is the inventor of this. He's got a couple other products there on his website that you might like. So I say check it out and uh, stay tuned because we're going to shoot this tomorrow. All right, Eagle Run 2.3, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.